Welcome to the Cathedral of Havana. The official title of this site is the Cathedral of the Virgin Mary of the Immaculate Conception. In 1658, the King of Spain gave license to build a university and associated church in Havana, since Cuba lacked an institute of higher education. It was decided that the Jesuits would run the institution, and almost 70 years later, in 1727, the plans for the Jesuit headquarters were laid out. Twenty years later, a temple had been constructed, but the church was not. Suddenly, the King of Spain expelled the Jesuits from Cuba, so the church was left unfinished. In 1777, work continued when the parochial mayor's seat was moved there. Its previous seat was now decrepit as, in recent years, work in Havana had focused on building new cultural landmarks, not repairing the shameful reminders of the Spanish defeat by the British. In 1793, when Cuba was divided into regions called dioceses, each run by a bishop, the church was renamed a cathedral. The cathedral's facade was redecorated to fit its new status. Many alterations were made to the cathedral over the next century. The bishop Espada, in 1800, removed the Baroque shrines and statues that he found tasteless and replaced them with neoclassic shrines. The Italian painter Giuseppe Perovani was hired to paint the interior, and after his death, the French painter Jean Vermeer replaced him. The facade of the cathedral is unique, with asymmetrical bell towers on either side. The cathedral is supposedly the only Baroque facade with a distinct asymmetrical feature. The larger of the two towers contains bells made of bronze mixed with gold and silver, lending an ostensibly nicer tone to their ring. In addition, the stone used to construct the building is coral rock cut from the shores of the island. If you walk around the walls and look closely, you may be able to find fossils embedded in the facade. Let's move on to our sixth location. 